G'day, I'm Neville Hayes. I'm at Port Huon in Tasmania. When you're travelling around in your motorhome or your camper, there's nothing like being able to pull up wherever you like. It doesn't matter. You can just stop by the side of the road. But I've got my sovereign barbecue here. It slides in and out the side of the bus. It's easy and compact. Marine grade stainless steel. Lift up the pop top. It's an oven. You can bake in it. You can grill all your breakfast in it and that sort of gear. Anything you like. It's a fantastic item. Love my sovereign barbecue. And today what we're going to do is cook up a roast. I've got the uh, all the nice colourful vegetables and gear here like this. And we're going to put a nice golden crackle on this roast pork. So we're going to prepare it now and get it ready to put in the barbecue. Now like your mama said, it's good to have a good smattering of vegetables. In fact, they try to give you so many you just couldn't eat it. So if you've got little kids, you give them a little bit to start off with and get them used to it. They're fantastic stuff. We've got pumpkin and potato and carrots and brown onions and all that sort of gear. It's a lovely compliment. It's nothing like meat and potatoes and vegetables, if you know what I mean. They're hard things to handle, these pumpkins at times. Just watch your fingers. Cut them up however you like, nice big chunks. How professional did that look? Did it look like a pro chef? Anyway, at the end of the day, we just want some nice chunks, you know? If you want to cut them in little heart shapes or whatever you like. So if you want to get that really nice golden crackling, and that's really important, isn't it, on your nice roast pork, we've got to get the, uh, the prepared. And so what we're going to do is activate the, uh, the outside there. And by pouring hot boiling water on, that just gets it all happening before you put it in the sovereign barbecue and it just makes it go all nice golden and country. Country crunchy, country crunchy. There we go, it's gonna be good, eh? So to get our nice golden crunchy roast pork happening, we're gonna activate it here with boiling hot water. So there we go, it's been activated. We're gonna put it in the sovereign barbecue now, put a little bit of oil on it, a little bit of natural ground salt, and then we'll pop it in the barbie. It's a nice little coating. I'm going to use avocado oil because it's nice and natural and I like the nice nutty flavour there. So I'm just going to rub a little bit of that. Then we've got our salt. We're going to rub that into the flesh there as well. Okay, come on baby. Crackle on up for me. How's that looking? It's pretty good. It's all ready to go. We've got it in the little basking dish here with a little bit of water on there just so it can you know, not go dry and that sort of thing when I pop it in the sovereign barbecue. Then what we're aiming for is to get this nice golden brown pork crackling thing happening on top. Come on you little beauty. So it's all cooked up beautifully on the sovereign barbecue. We've got this fantastic roast. We've got the roast right here in Tasmania from JB Nicholson's and Sons. It's fantastic, Tucker. Look at the nice crackling on the top of that. Isn't that fantastic? Now that roast was absolutely beautiful. It was so, so soft and juicy. Absolutely divine. It's not over yet. It's time for some dessert. So I called my good friend Mrs. Lee, first name Sarah, and she's whipped up this nice little apple pie for me. So we're going to pop that on. We've got some pre-made cream that I prepared earlier. We'll have some apple pie and cream for dessert. Shazam. Well, that didn't take long and it's come out all nice and golden brown. I love the way they crunch up. I like to add just a tiny little bit of cinnamon and sugar with my apple pie. I recommend eating a lot of this because it's got apple in it. And of course, my cream that I prepared earlier, just quickly put a little bit of that on there like that. There's an apple pie in there somewhere. <laughs> well, you don't have to be the greatest chef in the world to enjoy yourself when you're out and about. The sovereign barbecue really makes life easier. I love getting outside. You cook all sorts of great things on there. Stainless steel. Get the guys at Sovereign a call. Get yours in your boat home, your camper, or on your boat. I want to go and enjoy this apple pie now.